It was very scary because uh, no American had been in there in 22 years. And when we were playing at the World Championships in Nagoya, Japan um, in 71, uh, they extended, wanted us to extend our trip and gave us an invitation to come into China and to visit their country. And so we were pretty nervous about it. We had to get our passports taken to the American Embassy <laughs> and have the word struck out. Uh, you know, you can't enter main, communist mainland China. Things have changed an awful lot. Del, just talk about the fact that this tournament is back here for what, the third time in five years now? Third time and, and uh, we're, we're actually hoping for the best time this time. We've, we've got uh, tremendous support from the community and uh, we've got good participation from the players standing. Thank you. Can you just explain to the folks at home, this is a game that everyone's played, so it seems like you know, you can really be at it, then you go watch these players play and you're blown away by them. Can you put into perspective, you know, how good they really are, what they do? Well, the, th the thing about table tennis is that there's so much speed involved that you're only, the table is nine feet long, so you're, you're trying to react to what's happening only nine feet away. And then um, there's so much uh, different spin that can be on, imparted on the ball. There's different types of racket surfaces that you can use, and you have to know all this. Plus, you're, you're moving, and uh, so it, it, it's a tremendous sport, uh, and we have the best here. And to have as many people as you do, Connie, just for the folks maybe who don't play, what's the reason they want to come out and watch this? What, what makes it so entertaining? Well, I think the speed and the spin that's involved, and we have young players as well. Uh, I know Lucy Lee is coming up in uh, golf, and we've got some really good young junior girls coming up and junior guys, and um, will be the future of our sport. In fact, uh, Knut Ja just won the North American Championships. Right. So. You said, what, 14 14, years old? yeah. So it's, it's really, it's fun to see. And uh, especially for young girls, um, there's not that many, uh, I imagine, that play. I know locally here, I don't see too many young women come out and play. And it would be fun for them to see what it can be played like. Who are some big names for people who follow it that, that will be here this week? Well, we have the two-time defending champion. Uh, we call him Eugene Wong. He's from uh, Canada, originally from China. And then we have Thomas Kynath from Slovenia. And Thomas uh, was the winner in 09 and 11. So we have four out of the last five winners here at, at the tournament. And uh, among, uh, you know, after that, the, the uh, field is is still quite strong after those two. You know, a story for the folks who don't know, the, the, the Griffin, the hockey players, always play soccer before, but they were kind of into uh, playing table tennis during the championship season with the Calder Cup, had a, a table actually in the locker room at times, and uh, Gustav Nyquist, and here's some video of Gus, was the team champion, so Mike Knubel at the time said he was going to bring his accountant in, which I'm sure Gus didn't realize was also Hall of Famer Dell, and uh, can you just talk about this match with him? He was pretty good, but, uh, but no match for you. He was, he is very good, and, and there's uh, another picture there of Thomas Tatar. I played both of them in the locker room, and you can see all the players were around, and, and Gus is, is from Sweden. See, I gave him, a, I gave him a, a knuckle there because he made such a good shot, but Gus is uh, from Sweden, which is a top-notch country in table tennis, and I'm sure he's played quite a bit uh, before he got... Uh, against me. Yeah, well, I yeah. don't think he knew what he was up against, but it was a no. great little forum in there with all the guys watching and, and, and a lot of fun. Um, for, for Grand Rapids to have this back for the third time in five years, is it, what, what is the city doing so well? Is that what it is that they're so impressed with to, to bring it back here? Well, I think the West Michigan Sports Commission is on the right track. They've, they've formed this commission to go out and actually attempt to get events here. Um, they called us and wanted us to participate with the bidding process and I think we gave them some good ideas and, and we've established a good reputation for uh, USA Table Tennis. And, and the other thing we have going for us is we have the, the tremendous volunteers here and uh, they've, they've got the place all set up already and in some cities there's hardly any volunteers so if you have to hire people to do it it's it's tough and then we have the sponsorship support um, we we were instrumental in raising over sixty thousand dollars to help run this tournament and uh, we had community leaders like Peter Secchia who helped form the West Michigan Sports Commission he helped us uh, touch the the uh, community and, and uh, bring us over the top 
and that that type of thing real, really does help us to um, stand way above the other cities in the country. Our venue too is second to none because yeah. we don't have any uh, barriers. It's barrier free. Right. So practice sessions tomorrow and then goes mm -hmm. throughout the week and the championships are Saturday? Tuesday yes. through Saturday. The Saturday session will begin around 3 o'clock and it will end before the fireworks. Okay. And um, celebration <laughs> on the Grand is Friday night. So if anybody's coming down, right. come to the table tennis first and then participate in the other uh, 4th of July celebration afterwards. Sounds like a great plan. Thanks for being here tonight and uh, have a great tournament this week. Thank you, Larry. Thank you.